everyone so in this session we are going to discuss about some of the bit logic instructions or operations in tia portal okay so basically first of all we'll be seeing seeing these three bit logic operations the first one is not and then set output and reset output okay so in this session we'll be covering these three bit logic instructions right so let us see how to use them in the TIA portal okay so our first bit logic instruction is not right so let us see how does this not work okay so here if you observe this is our not right so you can use the instruction to invert the signal state of the result of logic operation so basically what happens is when you are suppose if you want to turn on some output okay so what you will do you will just provide one no and then you will provide the output right so if you place a not instruction in between so it will invert the output basically according to the condition it will invert okay so let us see how to use this in the software right so here let me make some tags first so let us take one start tag okay and then we'll be having one more tag here that is our led right this will be our output okay so i am placing it here like this right now what we'll do is i'll just make a logic right so here we'll be using one no and then we'll be placing the not instruction here so here if you observe we are having this not instruction right so we'll be just taking it here okay now what we'll do is i'll just provide one output okay so we are placing the not instruction in between right actually so i'll just give it as start input okay after this i'll place the output here okay so in this way we have created this right now whenever this input is in low state the output will be in the high state when this input is in high state the output will be in the low state so basically this not is in inverting the output right so let us check how it is working so let me first of all take the simulator and download the logic into the simulator right Uh, here I will create one sim table okay so we'll be taking all the text whatever we have taken in the logic okay so I am taking all the text right now let us go into the online mode right here you will be going in the online mode okay after going to online mode we'll be just clicking on this monitor mode okay after monitor mode let us observe what is going to happen so if you are able to observe we have not started the input or we have not activated i0.0 .0, that is our start input still our output is in i state this is because of this not right now when you are giving this input when this input is made high automatically this output will be in the low state let us check okay if you are able to observe when you are pressing this input okay when you are activating this input i0.0 .0, the output led is automatically turning off right now let us see what are the other bit logic instructions okay so the next bit logic instruction in our syllabus is set and reset okay so we'll be taking seeing both the both the instructions at the same time right so okay so here we are having set and reset right so whenever you want an output to be set even suppose for example we have pressed one push button and after that we want that output to be continuously high even after releasing that push button okay so how to do this this is possible only using set set as an output okay so we'll be using set now in order to reset the same output we need to use the 
reset and uh, re reset right so how to use this set and reset that will be seeing in the logic right so let us see what we are going to do okay so here simple what we'll do is i'll just delete this one right now okay we'll be taking the set and reset okay so we'll be taking two inputs this will be used for setting the input so let me uh, rename this tag as set okay i'm renaming re renaming this tag as set right okay and one more tag will be required that will be seeing how where it is required so we'll be taking the reset here so what will be the reset uh basically set output so this is our set output if you are able to observe this is our set output okay we'll be taking it here okay after this what we'll do is i'll just go here uh we'll be providing an output here q0.0 .0. this is our output okay so this output will be set when you are pressing this input i0.0 right so now we need to reset the same output right so we'll be requiring one another push button because this push button this this input is basically one push button right so when you are pressing it and releasing it this output will be in the high state and it will remain in the high state even if you are releasing this push button now what we'll do is i'll take one more now okay so i'll take one more now and i'll just take one more output okay here we'll be requiring one more input that is i0.1 that will be used for reset right now this reset i'll just rename this tag as reset right okay i'll just reset i use this tag here and now what we require is the same output okay so basically it will not be the output it is basically a reset output so what we'll do is i'll just take it here okay so what is the requirement we need this output q0.0 to be in the reset state when you are pressing this uh, reset button, uh, input right so what we'll do is i'll just give it as q0.0 right now we'll download the same logic okay so because when you are pressing this one this output will be in the set state now even if you are releasing this input then the uh, output will be still in the set state now in now how to turn it off we'll be using this input okay so the logic is made in the same manner because we here what we have done is this address address for this one this uh, set is u0.0 and the same address is for reset also so when you are activating this reset then the same address will be getting reset and when you are activating this set then the same address is getting set okay so let us download this one now after this i will go in the online mode after going to online mode i will just monitor the logic okay now the same thing we will be observing in the table right so what are the extra text required here one more is reset this is our set right now i'll be requiring one reset here so i'll just take the reset also okay now we have all the three requirements okay so here what we'll do is uh, let me reset the, all the things now see what what we are going to do is when you are pressing this input that is our push button this is our set input okay so i am just pressing it that means i will just activate this and release the same okay so i am just pressing it so see the output q0.0 .0 is in the high state even if you release this one still the output will remain in the set state right now how to turn it off we have a reset input here okay so what we'll do is i'll just reset this using this one okay so how to do it i'm just pressing this reset input see this is our reset input right i'll just press it okay and i'll just reset it so in this way see our output is now in the low state right now this is how we are using this concept of set and reset here okay so thank you